All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing right. his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Hollywood, California, Big Train. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? One side for the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up for us. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number Let's of go. ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick lands. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Lee. Just out of range with that right hand. Big punch lands on the top. I was going to follow this one. Back and forth we go! I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that. 
that one. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Right up the elbow. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice punch here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. Take a deep breath. Okay, listen, you need to be a little bit more accurate with those kicks. You're throwing them out without setting them up. So we seeing them coming. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Looked like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. Nice. Ooh, head kick lands hurt. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Oh, he connects there. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top, he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his... Over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, Jeff, man. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Gets the single collar tie. Ooh, what a head kick. A nice punch lands over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, countered there with an uppercut. 
perfectly placed in time. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Next round is now underway. Previous Ready? round, not necessarily Ready? a tough act to follow. Pretty, go, good go. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, that's a good right hand. Hit him with the overhand. Head kick. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Lands flush with that right hand. Leg kick checked by Lee. Nice kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice head kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he caught the kick. You don't know when that leg kick comes. Oh, good kicks. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, what a punch. Straight right is there. Leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He blocks the punch. Striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Sit back, relax, and breathe. Listen to me now. You're getting sloppy with those takedowns. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to rob the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Straight right hand, no good. Lee's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Three minutes to go. Lee's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Nice strike. Visibly limping here. Down, no problem. Big knee to the body. Oh, he's got still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Big punch land. Ooh. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Lands the right hand. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Slips to avoid the right. Puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Strikes to the midsection. After that offering, DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Down into his mouth. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. First position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Back to the feet now. Just misses there with the left. Three minutes now to go on the fight. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar guy. Nice kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. Straight right, he misses. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Great punch. Beautiful head kick. And 
Both guys really throwing with authority. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game. And if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Thirty seconds now to go in the fight. Thirty seconds left. Let's go. Let's fight. Hard. Huge block there. That was a nice fight. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. What else can you say? But what a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. How the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Big Bang. No, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight. 